Welcome back to our 107 channel. Today's topic, hot engine does not fire up after 10 minutes. You need to crank for some 30 seconds or more. We have had that topic some weeks ago, repairing a baby Benz, a W201 with a key eye check. We have changed the front fuel pressure accumulator sitting close to the fuel divider and the issue was gone. Some of you commented that this fuel pressure accumulator is no such thing but a fuel pressure regulator. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? The one and only, they said, is the one sitting beneath the rear axle. Well, their comments are partially right we got next to the fuel pump and filter a fuel pressure accumulator as well this one in my hands if this one here is broken it does not matter if i change the second one in the engine bay the problems will remain Are you serious vice versa the one in the engine bay is broken and the one next to the pump and filter unit then i got the same issue for example driving up to a petrol station fill your tank go pay inside have a coffee go outside car does not fire up so i need to crank for at least 20 seconds to build up petrol pressure therefore both components must be functioning to make sure either when hot or cold that the car fires up we will deal with this problem with a w126 280 SE from 1981. We do have a K-Jetronic which was in use until 1985 when Ki Jetronic was introduced. It is a six cylinder M110 engine, no electro hydraulic control unit, no potentiometer. I got a continuous and permanent injection without the various control units which are being part of the key i orchestra simply and reliable we will now change the fuel pressure accumulator and see if the problems still remain we will start right after introduction is already up on the lift we now are right at the assembly which is behind the rear axle on the right hand side of your vehicle only one pump is needed for six cylinder models below is the pump on top is the filter this is the high pressure fuel line leading to the accumulator which is situated outside this protective plastic shield here it is right above the drivetrain from differential to the wheel. This here is the afflux, the incoming fuel, passing through the accumulator, exiting it towards the engine bay. You need to loosen three bolts. This one here where the fuel exits the accumulator, the mounting here on top, right in the middle, and the nut where the fuel enters this tubular housing. There is an order to be respected to avoid a mess and a lot of spillage. Start with the nuts where the fuel enters. Take two open end spanners. One size 17, one size 14 to counter. Always counter with the one size 14 with a second spanner. If you damage it, they are expensive to replace depending on type and year of make. It is hard to come by, hard to find and time consuming to replace. Actually, actually effortless to open. I do not expect a lot of spillage because the car has been sitting for a while. Since the pump is holding back the fuel, well some drops also the remaining fuel from inside the accumulator. Next, loosen the screw which is holding the clip where the fuel exits the accumulator. Last step, unbolt the mounting and take it out. Another important thing is 
if you loosen the connection where the fuel is exiting the accumulator, you can expect some minor spillage, not more. But this one here is different. I'll show you from the other side. The hose is coming this way, entering this T connection before the pump. I got a bypass here, nota bene, a bypass. This is the hose from the tank entering the T connection into the pump. So the contents of the tank must flow into some receptacles or you empty the tank right up front or you block this hose in some manner. This very hose. Here we go. The old one right here, same size, same dimensions. The new one is aftermarket, not Bosch for sure. The old one has spare part number 00476042. One. The new one has nothing imprinted. Now we do this job vice versa and hope that the car fires up again after sitting there for 10 minutes with a warm or hot engine. I have emptied the tank prior to my job. Maybe you haven't noticed yet. The tank lid slides in this clip here. No need to put it on the roof or the trunk lid or elsewhere. Some liters here will do, some 20 liters. A very noisy M110 engine. Well, engine has some 80 something degrees Celsius. We now kill the engine and fire her up again after 10 minutes resting. Engine is being switched off. Let us wait 10 minutes. I'll have a coffee meanwhile. Ten minutes are over, I'll fire her up. Engine must fire up instantly. Yep, of course it does. Perfect. So, Fuel pressure accumulator has been changed. A component like this is about a 200 to a 250 euros to make your issue go away, provided the other one in the engine bay is functioning. One cannot do without the other. They work together. It is like an old couple married for 40 years and bitching. Well, just an example. Well, <laughs> well hope you have liked it. Please give me a thumb up. Hope to see you again next time. Bye bye everyone.